This is Sky News with Mark Longhurst. Good evening. The weather forecast of Fred Talbot's behind bars tonight after being convicted of sexually assaulting teenage boys. The offences happened while he was a school teacher in Greater Manchester in the 1970s. He was described as a weak and selfish man who regularly drank too much and abused pupils as an opportunistic sex offender. He's the latest television celebrity to be found guilty of historical offences. The sky's Becky Johnson now reports. He's known to millions as Fred the Weatherman, but to his victims, he's the teacher who robbed them of their childhoods. Northern Ireland, basically the best weather in the British Isles today, really. What his energetic got? forecasts from the weather map on ITV's This Morning made Talbot a TV favourite, but his cheerful basically outlook grass. concealed a past of child abuse. To Northern England, the picture gets grim. The usually chatty presenter had rather less to say for himself when questioned by police. When did you start going on school trips? No comment. Do you remember your first school trip? No comment. Men he'd abused as schoolboys had told officers what he'd done to them when he was their teacher in the 1970s. He was revealed in court to be a chancer who'd been obsessed with the teenage boys he taught. As a teacher, he had responsibility to nurture and safeguard those under his care. A responsibility he has proven to have no regard for and abused in an appalling way. It was his abuse of young boys that brought his teaching career to an abrupt end. He was forced to resign his post as a biology teacher here at Altrincham Grammar after propositioning a pupil. Taking his guilty secret with him, he went on to find fame as a weatherman. The same qualities that made Fred Talbot so successful on TV helped him gain the trust of the boys he taught and then abused. His energy, enthusiasm and extrovert personality meant he was well liked and made it all the more difficult for his victims to speak out. He assaulted the teenagers on canal barge trips, giving the boys who were aged just 14 or 15 alcohol and forcing them to share a bed with him. One of Altrincham's most famous past pupils, Stone Roses star Ian Brown, gave evidence for the prosecution, recalling inappropriate sex education lessons given by Talbot and a gay porn film that had been shown to the class. Talbot's own diary entries from the time incriminated him further. In 1969, he wrote, What I am doing with the kids means a lot to me, but it may be the wrong thing. I'm in conflict about many things. Teaching will not make me rich. Is that important? What is more interesting than a smoking, swearing, copulating 15-year-old? An extract from 1984 details how pupils stayed over at his house. It ends, as usual, I had quite a bit to drink, and as usual, I tried. I must be mad. So I used to have panic attacks when I was a kid. Uh, I still have them occasionally. And somebody said you should nope when it occurs in case it's caused by something you eat. OK. So when asked about his diaries, Talbot lied to police. I mean, you've told me about the asterisks, and you said those asterisks mean panic attacks. That's correct, isn't it? No, come on. OK. Right, well, I think those asterisks don't mean panic attacks at all. I think those asterisks mean you, every time you've had sex. No comment. Talbot may yet face further legal action. Police in Scotland are now looking at allegations of abuse said to have been committed by him there. Tonight, he's in custody and will be sentenced next month, finally forced to pay for his past as a paedophile. Sentenced next month, Judith Moritz reports from Manchester. Right, over the north of Scotland, a lot of cloud. It is Fred the weatherman was known for his fun floating forecasts. Millions watched, but amongst them were his victims, distressed to see their abuser finding fame on national television. Fred Talbot had a sexual interest in teenage boys, and as a teacher in Cheshire in the 1970s and 80s, he had ready access to them. He knew it was wrong, noting in his diary, I must watch how often I'm seen with kids. The page I've gone to, I've just I've opened it randomly, uh, is April 1969. But he kept trying to hide his past, even once arrested, and presented with the evidence in his journals. Is that your handwriting there? Uh, no comment. He denied the diary was his, but then let this slip. Oh, God, my writing's dreadful. 
black something in two cars. Okay. So that is your writing then? That is your writing in the diary? No comment. Fred Talbot taught biology and astronomy here from 1974. He says he was a really good teacher with an informal style. But he resigned after a decade, later saying publicly it was so he could start his media career. In fact, it was because he'd propositioned two teenage boys. Talbot often took his pupils on canal boat trips. They'd drink alcohol and he indecently assaulted two of them. Detectives say that Talbot's never shown any remorse. As a teacher, he had responsibility to nurture and safeguard those under his care. A responsibility he has proven to have no regard for and abused in an appalling way. If you're planning to come to Britain on holiday, it is absolutely superb. Fred Talbot's TV career is now over. Tonight, he's in prison and he could face further prosecution too. The Scottish authorities are examining allegations that he offended there as well. Judith Moritz, BBC News, Manchester using two boys in his previous career as a teacher. Prosecutors said Talbot was obsessed with teenage boys and could not help himself around them when drunk. Police say his behaviour defied belief. Earlier accusations had merely resulted in him leaving teaching. And although he denied it all, he detailed his fantasies, fixations and offences in a handwritten diary. Damon Green reports from Manchester. Temperature's about 10 Celsius, that's 50 Fahrenheit. TV viewers knew him as Fred the Weatherman, bounding across his floating map to make his forecast. Right, going up to the Northern Ireland, again, plenty of sunshine around. But years before Fred Talbot achieved fame on ITV, he led another life, a schoolteacher who assaulted the boys in his care. The fame he enjoyed turned to notoriety in a courtroom. One of his accusers, now an adult, spoke to ITV News. His identity has been concealed. He absolutely abused his position. And in those days, people had a lot more respect for teachers. You didn't question what they said. And he was able to use his position and his popularity to do all the illegal things that he did. When did you start going on school trips? No comment. Do you remember your first school trip? No comment. When police put the accusations to him two years ago, he refused to say a word. But now a jury has found him guilty. The past he thought he'd left behind has finally caught up. He lied to police that he'd left his job at Altrincham Grammar School to pursue a TV career. In reality, he'd quit after propositioning two 15-year-old pupils at his home. On the 6th of May 1984, he wrote in his diary, As usual, I had quite a bit to drink, and as usual, I tried. I must be mad. Often fueled by drink, he seized upon opportunities that he had orchestrated to indecently assault young boys, boys who had gambled who would find it impossible to speak out and tell others what he had done. This man, now in his 50s, went to police four times in the last three decades with his complaint that as a young teenager on a school boating trip on a nearby canal, he was given alcohol and assaulted and sworn to silence. Amongst the boys, it was to be kept secret. It was going to be our secret. We weren't to tell anyone. He was very good at finding boys that wouldn't tell and that he could abuse. And until very recently, he got away with the whole thing. I'm going to take you on a journey, a journey of discovery along the waterways of the northwest. He never moved away from the area where his crimes were committed. He even presented a TV series about canal trips. He'll be sentenced next month. His media career at an end. Now nothing more than a convicted sex offender. When Fred Talbot was a teacher at this school, he took groups of boys on camping and boating trips to Scotland. And tonight it can be reported for the first time that a number of similar complaints about offences said to have been committed in Scotland have been passed by police to the Procurator Fiscal north of the border. Police haven't always been so keen. The victim who spoke to ITV News told the court he first wrote to Cheshire Police in February 1992 about what happened to him. No action was taken. He went back to them in 1996. No action was taken. 40 years after his trust was abused, 23 years after he first told police his abuser is finally behind bars. Thanks, Damon. An Italian.